The world of artificial intelligence AI, is expanding rapidly. From chatbots that help people fill out legal forms to AI programs that scour the internet for answers to complex questions, AI is becoming increasingly pervasive in our daily lives. But what happens when quantum computing gets involved? That's the question that Joe Rogan and physicist Michio Kaku explored on a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. If quantum computing gets involved in AI, what are we looking at? According to Kaku, AI is a software program, and quantum computing is a hardware question. While chatbots represent a revolution in software, quantum computers represent a revolution in hardware. When the two are combined, Kaku suggests, the result will be an extremely powerful alliance between software and hardware that has the potential to change the world as we know it. AI is a software program. We're talking about uh, homogenizing different kinds of essays on the web, splicing them together, and then passing it off as your latest creation. Basically, plagiarism using digital computers. It's a software question. However, quantum computers is bigger than that. Quantum computers is a hardware question where it actually increases your ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. So the two of them, when they get together, watch out. So we're talking about an extremely powerful alliance between software and hardware. But there's a catch. Chatbots can be gamed. They don't know what is true or false, and they don't know the difference between correct and incorrect information. All they do is homogenize existing data and repackage it in a way that sounds human. As Kaku points out, even though there's a good aspect to all these software programs, the downside is that you can fabricate truth because it cannot tell the difference between false and what's false and what is true. Chatbots do not know what is correct or incorrect. All they do is homogenize, cut up existing things that sound human, put it together, and then people say, my God, that sounds like a human wrote it. The downside is that you can fabricate truth because it cannot tell the difference oh. between false and what is false and what is true. That's very interesting. If you talk to the chat, uh, the chatbot and say, do you know the difference between correct and incorrect? And they say, no, it's just on the web. Mm. They're just instructed to cobble together existing paragraphs, splice them together and polish it up and then spit it out. But is it correct? It doesn't care. It doesn't know. This is where quantum computing comes in. Quantum computers have the potential to increase our ability to do much more than with an ordinary digital computer. They could be used to manipulate large amounts of data, analyze it in real time, and uncover patterns that were previously hidden. When combined with chatbots, quantum computing could create a powerful tool for discovering and disseminating information. But there's also a dark side to this technology. As Kaku notes, chatbots are like teenagers who plagiarize other people's essays and pass them off as their own. There is no fact checker for chatbots, which means that they can be used to spread false information and propaganda. If bad actors, such as foreign governments, decide to use chatbots to spread their message, they could create an incorrect understanding of what's happening in the world. If they had some bad actors, some foreign uh, you know, governments that decided they were going to spread narratives as widely as possible, and ChatGPT just gathers up all this information, it could give you an incorrect understanding of what's happening in the world. Despite the potential pitfalls, Kaku believes that quantum computing and AI have the potential to change the world for the better. They could be used to diagnose diseases, fill out legal forms, and even pass the bar exam. But in order to fully realize the potential of this technology, we need to be aware of its limitations and work to mitigate its risks. As Kaku notes, we like to think about things that are creative new. Innovative things that'll change our perception of the world. None of that comes from a chatbot. A chatbot simply rearranges pre-existing essays. In order to truly innovate, we need to be willing to take risks and push the boundaries of what's possible. Quantum computing and AI are just two of the tools that we have at our disposal to create a better world. It's up to us to use them wisely. Now, I'm a scientist. We like to think about things that are creative, new, innovative, things that'll change our perception of the world. None of that, absolutely none of that comes from a chatbot. A chatbot simply rearranges pre-existing essays. That's you all know, it does. 